The moon is actually moving away from the Earth due to tidal forces. You might know that the moon induces tides on the Earth. That's where you get high tide and low tide. So it's pulling on the Earth's oceans. So those tidal bulges actually get ahead of the moon and they pull forward on it. And when you pull forward on something in orbit, it moves out. If you run that movie backwards, in the past, the moon would have been closer to the Earth, wouldn't it? If you run the numbers, the Earth and Moon would be touching at 1.45 billion years in a hypothetical past. My point is they have to be younger than that because you can't have less distance than zero distance. It's not possible. But the problem is, in the secular view, the Earth and Moon are supposed to be about 4.5 billion years old. But you see, they can't be older than 1.45 billion years. That's a problem in the secular view. By the way, in the creation view, 6,000 years ago, the Moon was about 750 feet closer to the Earth. So it's not a big difference in 6,000 years. But over billions of years, it's a problem. Ladies and gentlemen, we have problems. Now again, they could solve it by saying, well, the rate was different in the past, but then they're giving up uniformitarianism, which is a secular assumption by which they get the billions of years in the first place.